Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly forecast. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if this reading resonates with you. All right, let's get right into it. I'm going to start off with the Urban Crow to get the energy for the week. What is the energy for the week for Libra? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is the energy of the week for Libra? Illusion. Illusion, smoke and mirrors, things aren't really what they seem. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, you got release, also a distraction. Things aren't really as they seem. Release something. It's giving something that's not what you think it is. is a big illusion. What is the big illusion? It's the energy of the week for Libra. <clears throat> I love me and damn mirror work. And what is this? A brand new start. Okay, so something that doesn't look like a brand new start, it actually is a brand new start. Okay. <clears throat> the affirmation is I love myself this week. You are free, free of the illusion. Don't stop. All right, so you're free of the illusion. Don't stop. Keep on going. All right, you have a brand new start. It's going to hit you off guard like, damn, you're not going to believe that something was a brand new start. It's given that there's a whole new, it's given the moon illusions. But this is one of those illusions that the good, like, just sweeps you right off your feet. What's the weekly forecast for Libra? Oh, there's an unexpected journey. All right? There could be an unexpected trip or unexpected... Um, a person cross your paths unexpectedly, unexpected phone call, unexpected visit on Monday. On Tuesday, you got the lovers here. All right, you're in love. On Wednesday, you have the emperor. Oh, divine masculine. On Thursday, you got the ace of cups. On Tuesday, uh, um, Friday, you have the two of pentacles. On Saturday, the Seven of Swords. And on Sunday, the Moon. The Moon is going to be very significant this week. All right? You have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like you're going with a new option. Doing something new. Something comes out of the blue and you're going with it. All right? <clears throat> you're also stepping into your full power with the Judgment card at the top of the deck. You don't see how something is getting you ready or pre prepared to step right into your full power. And you're about to. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify this week. Your cup runneth over this week. So stay in the energy of abundance. Protect yourself from the energy of lack, okay? Especially this week. There is something going on on Saturday, so we're going to see what that is. It looks like the energy tips a little bit from Friday to Saturday and Sunday, <clears throat> so we're going to see what that is. The, the start of the week starts off really, really good. I feel like it's with this unexpected visit or unexpected call, okay? 
Tell me more about the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands. Okay, you got the Seven of Swords. All right, so somebody is coming back around. There's a person that's coming back around. All right, to make some sort of bold move, bold movement. It's a it's a change. All right, so a person could be coming back around to right their wrongs. They, <clears throat> someone is going to do a three sixty. All right, and you're going to be looking at them like, hmm, could I trust these actions? This is what you want. Okay, so this is what you want, but behind right it like what it is that you want, you're looking like, hmm, could I trust you? Or could I trust this? You you go into um second guessing. There is a reconciliation or there is some type of resolution of an issue. So if somebody did something to wrong you, this is a good time for some type of resolution. Um, <clears throat> there's a person coming back to make some bold move. Maybe there's an, an, an apology that you knew yourself would be hard for this person to give you, or there was a certain type of gesture that you knew it would take time for this person um, to give it to you for you um, for you to ever receive it. You're receiving it now, all right? What's crossing this is the Seven of Wands, all right? I can feel like <clears throat> right now, all you want to do is protect your energy. That's in the energy that you're in. You're, you just want to protect your energy. Right now, I can also see you just want to keep the peace. Um, peace is your biggest thing. All right, your energy is your biggest thing. You don't want anything, you're not going to let anything in your bubble that disrupts your peace, okay? And I feel like that person, that's why you have this queen of uh, swords pondering, looking back at this, looking back to see if, if there's a possibility for some type of reconciliation or resolution to a problem. Um, could you really get over something or could you really make amends could there be peace could there be unity could there be harmony okay tell me more about the lovers okay on tuesday there's a person that is going to be telling you how they feel about you um there's a person who loves you very very much like they love you way more than they try to, than they ever, like, show physically. It's, it's something that they really can't really, it's so big of an energy and an, and an emotion that they don't even know how to express it. But it looks like on Tuesday, they're being more open. Um, they have the Knight of Cups. They're moving fast. They're fearless, heart, um, wearing their heart on their sleeve. Like, they're being fully vulnerable with you. Fully open with the full card. All right. Because it looks like <clears throat> they're ready to take some things to the next level. It's given like there could be a relationship that hasn't really moved from a certain type of stage. And they feel like that the reason why the relationship hasn't moved to a certain step, type of stage because they have not expressed themselves in the way of the, the Knight of Cups. They have not worn their heart on their sleeve. They have not told you how they feel about you. Really, truly. Um, now they want to. Also, they feel like that this is the right opportunity for them to express their feelings. What's crossing this? You got the Six of Wands. Um, they want to shower you with... They want to shower you with so many compliments, gifts admiration, support, love, all of that. They want to give you all the things that you deserve. Also, they want you to know that your hard work hasn't gone unnoticed. <clears throat> you, on the other hand, could be confused by this person. You, on the other hand, could be kind of holding back your energy. It's given like you're kind of um, in the hermit mode, not in the sense of isolating yourself, but in the sense of keeping your valuables close to you. 
So you have a little bit of a wall up, which I feel like is this Seven of Wands wall. Um, where it's like, if it's going to disrupt my peace, you're not going to let it get in. It can get close, but it's not getting in your personal bubble. And I feel like this person wants to get in, wants to penetrate the surface. All right. <clears throat> Tell me more about the emperor. I want to take things to a deeper level. Tell me more about the Emperor for Wednesday for Libra. All right. All right. So, on Wednesday, you are upset. You got the emperor. The energy of the emperor is authority and control. What's the energy of the nine of swords on Wednesday for Libra? Yeah, the devil card. All right, so you're in your mind. You're in your mind, like literally with these thoughts. Yeah, with these thoughts here, with the two of swords at the bottom of the deck, because of some type of new idea, all right? Because of some type of idea that you want to go with. Um, there's something that you're working on that means a lot to you with this three of pinnacles here. And <clears throat> it's just like you're having a fight between light and dark or something like that. Your shadow and... It's something. It's like the fear and success. Like you're having, you can see the success, but you also hear like, you're having these negative thoughts about failure, what people may say and, and things like that, that could be kind of like slowing your movement. Um, let's see what's crossing this. You got the 10 of Pentacles. So, you may be dealing with these thoughts, but I feel like you're going to get through them. You do have support. All right. And just, you're not going to give up. You're going to keep on going no matter what. I feel like you're just going to, there's, there could be some type of bold action or some type of new, new level of control or leadership or new responsibilities that you have on Wednesday that you kind of like feel a little bit self-conscious about or insecure about and then you still tap into that hierophant energy of you knowing exactly who it is you are you stepping into your full power you haven't you you tapping into your wisdom your inner wisdom so yeah be mindful of those the self self-doubt on wednesday about something you might want to write your your thoughts out so you can transfer the energy instead of keeping them in your head where they turn into millions of different things. All right. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups for Thursday for Libra. All right. You got the Knight of Swords. Wow. You are magnetic. Very, very attractive. Okay. You're very, very attractive here. Um, you got the Knight of Wands here. Your cup is going to be filled very, very quick. Like attract like on Thursday. Magnetic attraction. This is you having fun, going with the wind, like expecting the unexpected. You're happy. You got the hangman. So I feel like for some of you guys, if you've been trying to kind of like sacrifice an old way of being or thinking, you definitely push through on in this new energy on Thursday. Um, also, something comes with a sacrifice. So be mindful of that. You got the eight of wands. This comes from, in, in reverse, this comes from some type of delay. But then look, the Ace of Cups is here. 
is here. All right. So there was some type of delay, but the ace of the ace is is here anyway. All right. Something comes rapidly, very very fast. Something was delayed, and then it speeds up. It's just like, let's say if a car was stuck. You know when a, a tire is stuck in the mud, and you got the momentum on, and it's not moving, it's not moving, and then it zooms out. It's like you're in that zoom moment full momentum full speed like full speed all right be mindful of negative thoughts they are a liar you are the opposite of everything your negative mind tells you you are the opposite of everything That's why your negative mind is telling you that, those things, okay? Be mindful of the illusions, okay? All right, and this illusions, these illusions are in your mind. They are more likely self-doubt, so definitely be on the lookout for self-doubt this week, okay? It's like giving, like, everything could be the same or they could change. It's up to you. Make note of your self-doubt for the first couple of days going into this week. Um, so you can be so 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 you'll know when they what they are when they come up what they feel like um, things like that so how your body tenses up so you can be ready to kind of like affirm difference or even just let them flow and let them pass instead of creating like a residence in it taking stake in it pondering on it you know stuff like that. All right, tell me more about the Two of Pentacles for Libra on Friday. All right. For Libra on... Oh. All right, so Eight of Pentacles, hard work pays off. Hard work and dedication. All right. You got the Ten of Wands with the, with the King of Cups here. All right, so your hard work. So somebody put on a lot... Like, there was a lot put on a person's shoulder, and your hard work pays off. You've been hard at work for a long time, very, very dedicated to your crafts. These are your talents, all right? These are your God-given passions and things like that. Um, it looks like they're coming through. Now, you've be, now you're like a master manifester here. You're able to manifest because you've let go of some type of burden. You release something. So I feel like Thursday is going to be really, really that energy of releasing, that energy of sacrifice. Um, think about what you have to sacrifice Thursday in order to stay in the vibration of being, in order to stay in that vibration with your manifestation. So in order to stay in the vibration of the Ace of Cups, which is abundance instead of lack. What must you sacrifice on Thursday? You tap into that really, really well. This aids you in becoming a master manifester. And I feel like with these energies here, what you manifest on Friday kind of throws your balance. It's a gift. You got the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, what you get back, all right? Ten of Swords, I told you something has to do with letting something go. It is a brand new start. Like, really. Your happiness being reciprocated to you. All right? So, that is the Ten of the ten of Cups energy. All right? So, you being in this energy of your desires, your ultimate wish um, of abundance, things like that. You, you're going to have to be really, really clear of illusions and how it gets your mind in a place and your energy in a place that you just don't want anymore with this seven of wands here this this energy leads you to victory leads you to the chariot Okay, tell me more about the Seven of Swords for Libra on Saturday. Uh, 
All right, you got the Four of Wands. Oh, it's a, <laughs> a secret celebration. A sneaky link. A secret celebration. All right, so you're celebrating by yourself. You're being real, real sneaky with this. Okay, so there's something that you're celebrating. There's something that is going good, it's sturdy, it's happy times. It's something that you're celebrating by yourself. This could be a time with the person, something like that. Um, and it's coming up as the energy of the seven of swords because you're not letting somebody in on whatever is happening. If a person asks you, happens to ask you what you're doing that day and you're doing a lot, you're, you're going to lie about it. You don't feel bad about it. There's some type of new idea. All right. This full moon brought a lot of ideas here. A lot of downloads, okay? It's full moon in Leo. Yeah. There's some type of new idea that's exposed here. Or some type of truth. But there's something that you're keeping to yourself. And you're 100% with that. You don't want to tell anybody this news. You don't want to tell, tell anybody what it is that you're doing. You're being sneaky. And it's good. It's a good energy. There's some type of passion or something that puts you into this good energy. All right. It's like you don't care about nobody but your peace this week. Okay, tell me more about the moon. All right, the, the moon. All right, so <clears throat> for some of you guys, this, this moon energy has helped you step into your full power. All right, you're going to see a lot of that on Sunday. Okay, um, you're shedding right now. All right, you have this. This King of Wands, I do feel like your confidence is boosting, all right? Ideas, all of that, your heart is opening too. There's a there's a lot of downloads that you're going to keep to yourself. Yeah, you have so many downloads here. Your third eye is open, all right? Um, you're going to feel a lot of that energy on this Sunday coming up, all right? Um, also, for some of you guys, you may have some type of downloads with some type of drama, something like that. Um... Your heart is going to tell you. So if your stomach kind of flips or turns right before there's something or your um, the hairs on your back of your neck stand up right before there's some type of tension or argument, you want to pay attention to what your body is saying to you, especially on Sunday, okay? You're walking in your more true essence. You're looking very, very desirable. Also, you're getting what it is that you want. This in, Stepping into this energy gets you whatever you want. Whatever you want. It's like you can have whatever you like. The chariot. This is the chariot energy here. All right? So you're going to feel this. You're going to feel that you are in alignment. It's going to come to you. You're going to feel it because you're going to feel brand new. Okay, with this chariot energy coming in, you're going to also feel very, very balanced. All right, um, there's going to be some sort of victory, some sort of success. And this may be something that you're keeping to yourself on Saturday and you're having a silent party first. Remember, um, celebrate in private, then in public. So this is your private celebration. I feel like you're going to be celebrated in public. All right, make sure you celebrate yourself privately on Saturday. All right, um... There's some information that you're walking away with. There's some information that you're walking away with. So you're going to be walking away with some type of information or you're walking away because of some type of information. Walking away from something or someone. All right. High priestess mode. Yeah, your third eye was highly activated. Downloads directly from the moon, chariot energy, um, masculine, divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy, which is 
those two, two energies that you need for manifestation. You are in balance. You can manifest whatever you want this week. Stay out of the illusion. Get out of the illusion. Whatever this, this physical world is trying to show you, in the world, not of the world, right? Whatever this physical world is trying to show you, get out of the illusion. Don't believe the hype. You can have whatever you like, Libra, okay? <laughs> whatever you like. The illusion is going to be the, the, lack, the lack mentality, the heartbreaks, the suffering, the sorrow, all right? But putting yourself in that energy, the towers, reliving the towers, all right? Um, get as much sunlight as you can this week. All right, to put you in better spirits and lift and raise your frequency and raise your vibration. Okay, so that is your reading. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.